Please take your seats quickly, ladies and Hi guys, gentlemen. and welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about the racket drop. And I want to show you why you almost certainly do not have a racket drop in your forehand. I want to show you why it's important and how you can add this to your game and really energize your stroke. Now, I'm sure you're aware what the racket drop is, but as we make our unit turn and take the racket back, then the arm goes forward and the racket drops down below contact, and then we whip the racket up, creating topspin and power. But if it's so simple, and if everybody watching this will probably be aware of it, then how can I say that you don't have a racket drop? But you see, are you dropping the racket or are you placing it there? As I go into here, I now have placed the racket down here and now I swing. And apart from having the right trajectory to lift the ball, I'm not going to create any power with that racket drop. So I might as well go old school and just take the racket to here and then lift it. I'm not creating any power with my racket drop because I'm placing it there. If I let the racket drop there and then swing forwards, then gravity and momentum will give me a much more powerful forehand. To understand and apply this to your game, you have to have a feel for it. So first of all, let's look at the most extreme form of racket drop. So I'm going to hold the racket with one finger and a thumb, and I'm just going to let it dangle. And that really is a racket drop. And now I'm going to hold the racket with my full hand, and I'm going to try and let the racket drop. And that's not a racket drop. The reason it's not is that my wrist is leading the racket. Now I'm going to let the racket drop, and my racket led my wrist. You see, that's the acid test. Is your racket dropping the wrist, or is your wrist dropping the racket? When the wrist drops the racket, then there is no racket drop. Honestly, the wrist is really placing it there. But when the racket pulls the wrist, then I now have a racket drop that will be effective and pass power and speed to the ball. Once you've got the feel of the difference between the wrist dropping the racket and the racket dropping the wrist, then it's pretty easy to apply into your game. So go now into a unit turn and take back and then allow the racket to drop and you should see this kind of recoil here as the racket has energy. When I place it with my wrist, see how fixed it is. But when I allow the racket to drop, you can see that there's a recoil, a bounce. So once I'm feeling the bounce, I'm now going to capture the bounce. I'm going to let the racket drop and make shadow stroke. Let, let the racket drop and make a shadow stroke. And once you've got the feel of that in a shadow stroke, then it's pretty easy to apply it into hitting the ball and you'll find that you get tons more power with way less effort. So remember, you don't place the racket down there. You can make the shape, but it's contrived. You have to let the racket lead the wrist. And when the racket leads the wrist, you'll have a powerful and energized forehand. I hope this makes sense. If you like my ideas, check out our books on Amazon. We have books on every aspect of the game, really clearly illustrated. And every lesson that's in there is also accompanied with links to YouTube videos. So on the same subject. So you can actually read about the technique. You can see the video illustrations of the technique and you can see the accompanying video. Or check out online coaching. I'm helping players in over 40 countries all over the world with a unique blend of video analysis and one-to-one -one coaching. For more information, email me or check out the website. So remember, for real power in the forehand, you do have to have a racket drop, but it's not the wrist placing the racket in the right place, it's the racket leading the wrist, and when you allow the racket to lead the wrist, you'll have more power and a better stroke. Thanks for watching, and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work. Yeah.